fire beneath, steam above, and a city on edge. Earth's restless power at the dawn of 226. marked the quiet transition from late 2025 into the first days of 2026. The planet itself offered no silence across three continents. Earth's internal forces revealed their presence in dramatically different ways through incandescent lava fountains in Sicily, a violent explosion of steam and water in Yellowstone, and a growing pulse of earthquakes beneath one of Europe's most densely populated regions. though separated by vast distances. These events are chapters in the same global story, a dynamic planet constantly releasing heat, pressure, and energy from its depths. Mount Etna, a fiery farewell to 22-5 in the closing days of 2025, Mount Etna once again asserted its reputation as Europe's most persistently active volcano. Without warning, lava fountains burst from its summit craters, shooting molten rock nearly 400 meters into the air. The eruption turned night into day across eastern Sicily, with glowing arcs of lava raining back onto the slopes in a rhythmic, almost pulsating display. Scientifically, Etna's behavior reflects a volcanic system that is rarely at rest. Beneath the mountain lies a complex magma reservoir continuously replenished by deep mantle sources. As gas-rich magma rises, pressure builds rapidly. When that pressure finds a pathway to the surface, it is released explosively in the form of towering lava fountains rather than massive ash-producing blasts. Seismometers recorded intense volcanic tremor. While satellites detected elevated sulfur dioxide emissions drifting across the Mediterranean. These measurements are crucial. They help scientists distinguish between short-lived, eruptive episodes and more dangerous transitions that could threaten nearby towns, air traffic, or infrastructure. While this eruption caused limited damage, it served as a stark reminder that Etna's constant activity demands constant vigilance. Violent beginning. Steamboat geyser erupts on day one of 226. As the new year dawned, attention shifted to Yellowstone National Park, where Steamboat Geyser, the tallest active geyser on Earth, repted violently. On January 1, 2026, columns of boiling water and steam thundered skyward, dwarfing surrounding geothermal features and sending shockwaves through the frigid morning air. Unlike volcanic eruptions, geyser explosions are driven by a delicate balance between heat, water, and pressure. Deep underground, water becomes superheated by hot rock and magma far below. Trapped in narrow fractures, it remains liquid until pressure drops suddenly then flashes into steam with explosive force. 
Steamboat's eruption suggests that underground plumbing systems shifted just enough to trigger this release. For scientists, the timing was remarkable, but not alarming. Steamboat Geyser is known for its irregular behavior, with periods of frequent eruptions followed by long dormancy. This early year eruption offers a rare opportunity to study how seasonal changes, groundwater recharge, and subsurface heat flow interact within Yellowstone's immense hydrothermal network. Importantly, researchers emphasize that even powerful geyser eruptions do not indicate an imminent Yellowstone supervolcano event. Instead, they highlight the dynamic nature of surface geothermal activity, largely disconnected from the deeper magma system that would be involved in a true supereruption. Naples holds its breath, rising seismicity at Mount Vesuvius, while lava and steam captured global attention. A quieter but potentially more concerning development unfolded in southern Italy. Instruments around Mount Vesuvius detected a sharp increase in seismic activity, with clusters of small earthquakes rippling beneath the volcano and surrounding urban areas. These tremors may be caused by magma slowly shifting at depth. The movement of volcanic gases or the gradual fracturing of rock under increasing stress. For a volcano with such a destructive history, even subtle changes demand serious attention. Vesuvius has remained dormant since 1944, but its silence is deceptive geological records show long periods of calm punctuated by sudden, devastating eruptions. Authorities in Naples and the surrounding Campania region issued renewed warnings, urging preparedness rather than panic. Modern monitoring systems, GPS stations, gas sensors, and seismic arrays now provide scientists with tools unimaginable in ancient times. Yet the challenge remains immense. Millions of people live within the volcano's hazard zone making risk management as much a social issue as a scientific one.